Yo, what's going on guys? Christy Flakes here. So, a discussion video for you guys. Um, been a while since I've done a discussion video, but I came across a very interesting uh, Instagram photo from NBA on ESPN, and it was a fact of the day, and that is with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love, plus no LeBron James on the floor, the Cavs have a net efficiency of negative 14.9, which ranks last in the NBA, guys. And uh, this brought to me, this brought to my attention something that's been on my mind for many years now, and that is, uh, what exactly is an MVP award? Because in this day and age, you know, well, as far as long back as the MVP award went, um, it seems that the MVP award goes to the player that is playing the best, which is fine. You know, they, they, are, very, they are very valuable to their team. Um, but then shouldn't it be called an MTP, a, a most talented player, not most valuable, most talented player? Because, you know, I think about it in this sense. Uh, Steph Curry, no doubt, is going to win the MVP award and probably most improved player this year. Um, but if you took him off the Warriors... How good would that team be? In my opinion, if you replaced him with, you know, with, with like Sean Livingston as a starting point guard, just took Steph Curry off the team, which might actually be a scenario I might do in the future, um, that team would still be pretty damn good. Like, they're still making playoffs, and they're still making some noise. Probably not as much noise, of course, because they don't have Steph Curry, but still. So, in, in, in that... In that mindset, you can't call him the most valuable player. Now, I will say this year he has been the most talented player. Um, in this, you know, in this instance right here with LeBron James, it seems to me that LeBron James, and I'm going to tell you guys straight, I'm not a homer at all. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a more of a LeBron James fan than a Steph Curry fan. I have no uh, strong opinion on either both players. I think they're both great players. I'm um, just laying out facts. And um, if you took LeBron off the Cavaliers, I mean, the numbers stand right here that the Cavaliers are not very good without him. I mean, the Wizards made sure of that. I mean, they, they were they attuned to that by blowing out the, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, another prime example of what a most valuable player means to me is you look at the Chicago Bulls. You take off Jimmy Buckets, this team is about not to make the damn playoffs. No Jimmy, Bu you know, no Jimmy Buckets out there. So, wouldn't you say that Jimmy Butler is more valuable to the Golden State Warriors or, or to the uh, Chicago Bulls than Steph Curry is to the Golden State Warriors? Not saying Jimmy Buckets is a better player. He's a great player, but, you know, Steph Curry is playing lights out. I mean, he's having the type of season that no player has ever had ever in the history of basketball. And we might not ever see again unless, you know, maybe like 200 years down the road or something like that. So I want to know from you guys, what does the most valuable player, what does that mean to you guys? Do you think it should be renamed? Do you think the award is being looked at differently? Do you think it's being looked at in the correct way? Perhaps it just is named wrong. Because in my opinion, it should go to, it should be called the MTP, the most talented player going to the player that is playing the best basketball that season, not necessarily how valuable they are, they are to their team. So uh, I don't know, guys, just cool, quick cool little rant about that. Let me know in the comment section below your guys' thoughts on that. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and peace out, my friends.